Well, hey everybody, it's TR here, and uh, it's gotta go. Here's this uh, nor cold, or is there more affectionately called never cold, 1200 uh, fridge that's been in rusty here, uh, and uh, it's been troublesome ever since I got it. Uh, it never was really good at keeping cold. Um, in 2013, I put a, a kit on it to, to replace all of the uh, of the uh, absorption system. It's an ammonia type system. <clears throat> anyway, uh, and it worked pretty good till about a week and a half ago and uh, then it just quit working. So uh, I've been trying to work with the company that I got the kit from because it had a lifetime warranty. Well, <clears throat> they've been uh, less than responsive and I'm kind of done dicking around with it anyway so it's got to go. I've already been outside and uh, taken apart the uh, electrical pieces of it uh, and uh, so here we are to uh, remove the inside. I uh, <clears throat> already started prepping for some of this so anyway there's a flange right here okay and I've already uh, let's see if we can turn some light on if we don't blow uh, we don't blow out the pitcher seems okay all right. So anyway, here's a flange right here. There was four screws in there. I've taken those out, and I'm taking out the screws here. <clears throat> I've got a couple things left in here. I want to get out um, stuff that uh, will eventually go to the trash, I guess. Uh, this thing's pretty reeking. It's pretty bad. So let's just pop this out. Nasty apple. All right. Uh, <clears throat> there is a glass shelf in here, so I think I'll pull these out and get them out of the way. Uh, eventually, I'm going to take all the doors and everything off too, so it'll go out of the RV a little easier. And I might take this uh, control panel off too and uh, scrap that and sell it on eBay. Um, anyway, let's see. Minute left. The shelf should be all right. Oh, I was going to get this piece of glass out of here. And we'll just stick it over here. Put those right there. Nastiness. I better maybe wash my hands real quick. All right. <clears throat> so basically, this thing's ready to slide out. Uh, Newmar gives us this little vent cover here, which I already snapped off, but it just clips on there. It's going to have to be cut down uh, to size because the unit I ordered is uh, quite a bit taller. Well, probably four inches taller than that. <clears throat> and so uh, we're going to be doing some remodeling on that cabinet here as well. Uh, I got a thought about uh, I want to protect those floors. So I happen to have uh, piece of plywood which will catch the bottom of that because there's a flange on there and that could uh, maybe cause a little bit of heartburn and I wonder I've been wondering about maybe using that like a slide um, since I'm trying to take this out of the wall myself uh, let's see let me think this through real quick while you look at my ass Maybe if I just do this, let's try that. Let's just screw that down. A little jump drawer to find some screws that won't. Oh, look at that. Okay, so. Everybody has to have a junk drawer. Alright, so first off, let's just take this. I'm gonna go right right there. Didn't want to go all the way through. Ooh. 
on the 45 here. All right. That should let me get that out of there. What happens? Well, that worked out better than I thought. Now I get to stand this puppy back up. Can I get underneath it? Yep. And there we are. back uh, quick battery change there so I'm working on the back here uh, here's the unit that I actually had replaced now this whole unit you can see here that's been spray, spray painted gray um, that was replaced in 2013 uh, I took about two hours it wasn't that bad but obviously uh, it only bought me a couple years so it was pretty expensive fix then because it was like 700 bucks and then over here those are the heating pencils and uh, the heating elements, they're 225 watts a piece. And I did replace those uh, as a first step in troubleshooting. And I also replaced the gas burner that you see here. Uh, I knew it was plugged up and kind of not working well because uh, it wasn't cooling well as I was driving down the road. Which is a common problem with these never colds. They, uh, they just never seem to want to stay very cold when you're uh, driving down the road in your RV. So with that, what I'm doing is I'm harvesting this computer right here. They call it the power board uh, because that has some value on eBay, as well as the front piece that I just took off here when I was working on the front, this guy here. Uh, I'll be able to sell that on eBay. So anyway, uh, that's 5 16th, there's a quarter. Take that off. That's the sparker. Power board done. It's not there for now. Now let's see. Look at this little uh, drain tray out of here. And I need a. Five eighths. Oh, there we go. Here's one of those magic wrenches. Fits everything. <laughs> Crescent wrench. I need something to grab a hold of that. And there's them pliers. There we go. All right. 
so I've got a couple more in there. And I need to take apart. I think those are quarter as well. But I don't think I'm going to get the drill in there. So, they're 5 sixteenths or quarter. I think they're a quarter. And then let's get that gas valve out of here. Get this burner. So, that should be ready to come out now. What's holding it in there? Bend something? I probably bent this pipe. Uh, Rasafraka chicken shaka. Let's uh, get a gentle persuader here. Yeah, I bent this. <laughs> it's been good. That's all right. Let's get, get this out of here. wire I put on there to hold that shielding in there. Now, where did Mr. Uh, did it work? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good stuff. And while we're waiting for that, we might as well get that thermal couple. That's a nice one. <coughs> All right, let's see. Got Nothing like a little penetrating oil. Alright, so let's go get a bigger parts bin. Uh, let's see, let's grab uh, the thermal couple here on that light assembly. Grab these cooling fans. Alright, so I'm about out of battery again, and uh, so I'm going to pull this. Uh, captain's chair out that's the uh, passenger one and uh, then I'm gonna pull that handrail off you see over there and it should be good to go okay welcome back everybody I uh, had a little misfortune with the GoPro camera when I was uh, recording the last bits of the D install I uh, had changed the battery out and I noticed that it needed a fresh memory chip so I stuck one in and recorded up uh, the removal of the chair and the handrail and then uh, me getting the fridge out of here um, Unfortunately, that chip died. It uh, wouldn't re I couldn't recover it, so you know I just have to fake it and fill in with this, if you will. Uh, there was one casualty during uh, the removal, and that happened to be the uh, knob off of the uh, fan control for the uh, AC on the coach. Uh, this is the actual chassis uh, AC, not the uh, regular coach AC, so it's no big deal really. Uh, I might try super gluing it. Oftentimes, super glue doesn't work very good on stuff like this. But we'll give it a shot, and if not, we'll get in there and replace the switch. It's no big deal. I've been in there before because I replaced the radio uh, with a nice Pioneer here, oh, about four years ago. So you may have caught me calling the coach Rusty, and uh, Rusty is a nickname that I gave him uh, when I first picked it up. Uh, it's a Newmar Dutch Star. Um, really a very well-built coach. I've been really, really happy with it. Had uh, a few issues, but if you're going to own an RV, you're going to have issues. You might as well get used to it. Um, every time you take it into the shop it's at least a thousand bucks I tend to try to do as much of the work as I can myself just to save money because uh, these uh, camping world and those places man they charge you an arm and a leg to do this kind of stuff uh, I imagine this would have probably cost a thousand or twelve hundred dollars over and above what the twelve hundred dollar fridge cost uh, was to get uh, the amount of work done that we've done on this uh, over the last couple three days anyway uh, we've still got plenty to do uh, coming up in the next chapter uh, we're going to remodel the cabinet. First off, we'll demo the old shelf out, and then there's a uh, one and a half inch uh, black ABS drain line that goes through there from the kitchen sink. We're going to have to relocate that uh, to get enough room to drop the shelf down, and we've got to get about four inches in there. 
because the old never cold was about 66 and three quarters inches tall and the new uh, Samsung RF18 and I'll put the full model number in the description of the video uh, is 70 and three quarter inches tall so you get four inches there we're gonna make up four inches by dropping that shelf down and relocating that drain line <clears throat> then we've got uh, some uh, electrical work to do uh, we've got to move uh, an outlet here in the cabinet that'll be pretty straightforward move it down onto the floor uh, make it easier to get to because at some point I really want to uh, seal up the outside uh, vent permanently because otherwise it's just going to be a big dust hole where uh, dust and dirt and stuff's going to blow in and uh, um, you know contaminate the coach with uh, dirt and I don't need any help there I can tell you that uh, so we'll uh, work something out on that right now I have a piece of foam stuck in there in chapter three you'll get to see me uh, seal up the hole in the roof uh, with some foam and some spray foam uh, that worked out pretty good I think it's pretty tight and then I got up on the roof itself and I uh, siliconed the seams and everything so it should be pretty watertight and uh, I'm not too concerned about that. So that'll wrap up uh, this first chapter of the uh, removal and uh, demolition of this Never Cold 1200 and uh, working towards replacing it with a new Samsung. If you like these kind of videos uh, be sure and uh, subscribe because I've got a ton more coming your way. As well as some of my other videos from uh, my photography practice and also being a naturalist. Uh, so those are uh, coming as well. I uh, hope you come back and uh, watch the uh, remodel of the cabinet. Until then, peace.